here folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 2 VGA. And when last we left off, we haggled, and haggled some more, and then haggled even more, and we kept haggling until the apothecary was sick of seeing our face, whereupon we gained the final points needed to max out our communication at 200. We also just gained a few points of intelligence by buying a surefire investment in the future, for we purchased this boxed copy of Quest for Glory 2. The signatures make it even more valuable. We could go out and fight some enemies, we could go and talk to people, but honestly, there's not much incentive for us to do that. We have plenty of money, we have no things to improve, and there are no quests for us to do, so you know what? Let us sleep until evening and have a nice meal before we go straight into day seven. There's no reason for us to delay. You awaken much refreshed as the sun sets behind the mountains. Let's go and see what we can get food-wise. I'm sure they're still serving food. Welcome, hero. Thank you. What's for dinner? I'm excited to find out. Tonight I have prepared something especially for you, so that you do not become too homesick. It is knockwurst and sauerkraut. Ooh, thank you! A little taste of home! You have a wonderful meal! There are numerous salads, two main courses, fruit, hot mint tea, dessert, and all the bread you could want. You feel stuffed and content. Unfortunately, you never really cared for sauerkraut and knockwurst, but you are too polite to tell Shima that. You must admit the honey and lemons on the knockwurst aren't too bad, but the sauerkraut curry is a bit much. Still, it is tasty. Something a little different. Now let us go and... Get some sleep! There's no reason for us to delay day seven. Like, what are we going to do at the night of day six? Fight jackal men? We don't need to do that, we have all the money we could ever want. Let's just sleep until morning and see if there's anything else that we can buy from any of the merchants. Probably in the plaza at the fountain. You wake up much refreshed as the sun begins to rise. Welcome, folks, to Day 7. We're already at Day 7. And as far as we know, nothing awful is happening. Something awful is probably going to happen. Let's just... Oh, that is not apparently leaving. Welcome, hero. Thank you. Let's have some breakfast and see what's happening in Shapir. Good day, hero of Spielberg. I hope you slept well. I did, thank you. Is anything happening in the world? Uh, can we ask you about Omar? He is a wonderful poet, and he knows many things. We are most lucky that he comes here. I thought we could ask about him. Let us have our breakfast and go about our day. Your breakfast is delicious. Excellent. Anything happening here that I need to know about today? No! Sem team for the poor, Effendi. Sem team for the poor. How are you doing, my friend? Let's ask you about... Let's ask you about Omar. The poet shares his wisdom and art with all, and may heaven reward him for his kindness. Sometimes words are worth more than food. You are right. But you know what? I will give you some money. I will give you... A hundred semtines. Oh, what a wonder. Is it a dream? Oh, Effendi, there is no end to your goodness. No problem! I hope it helps you. We gained some honor from that! As a note. Right, let us go to the Plaza of the Fountain. And they ask, what is a hero? Though the answer is very clear, he's the one who faces danger when the darkness hovers near. And that is why the beggar is in the Gate Plaza, because you're here. 
let us see what else you have to say. He will face the fiercest foe when another needs his aid. He will dare to defy death even though he is afraid. He works not just for glory, and, does no, and he does it not for gain, but because he knows that others will be spared a greater pain. This is true. Also remember, gotta get my shoes. He won't always follow orders, for he dares to answer why. And unless he likes the reason, he refuses to comply. He will brave the battle boldly, even though he may not win. He will face his fate unflinching, for he is a paladin. Um, I'm not. I'm a fighter. But thanks for the kind words. And they ask, what is a hero? Though the answer's evident. He's the one who faces death knowing that his lives were spent. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? News abound in the city and land. Of such shall I speak. May you learn what you can. The poet will be happy to discuss such matters with you. Talk about the fire elemental. The fire elemental, living aflame, destruction unleashed, wild and never tame, causing all it touches, then to burn, leaving only ashes in return. Note, we couldn't have this dialogue with him, with the fire elemental still about, because day seven is when the fire elemental destroys everything. The fire elemental is created by a spell cast by a user of magic. Once created, it burns and destroys, uncontrolled by any master. So it's made by a magician. What about the earth elemental? The might of earth and strength of rock transformed and through the land. The creature rose and stormed. The shape of man was made by force of spell until the fire's fury shall it quell. The elemental of earth is a force of great devastation, but it can be overcome by flame. Good to know! What about the water elemental? A thing of water, living contradiction, despite the water's flowing benediction. For, all, for its power, at its very worst, forces men to suffer, die of thirst. The water elemental, by its nature, absorbs water. Thus those around it die of thirst. That's troubling. What about the air elemental? The wind which turns and twists with speeding force. It wrecks and ruins all without remorse. The dust of devils, vortex of despair. A living elemental formed of air. The elemental of air, by the sheer power of wind, is capable of vast destruction. That is true. What about magic? Ye, ye learn now the magic of this land, to summon up the jinn and give command, to force your very foe to be a friend, to turn a man to beast, and beast to man. Shapir has a magic all its own. That it does. Thank you. I will also say, I will thank you. You are most welcome, hero who came here. May you always be so welcome in Shapir. Such a thing was done with pleasure, hero. That needs no mention. The words of departure are what I do here. Farewell to the next time you lend me your ear. Farewell, hero. The floor doesn't say very much. This is true. Right. Do you have anything that I would like to buy, sir? I hope you do. You have just an empty pot. Okay, so you don't have anything new for me. But someone will. Uh, we haven't anything from you, or you, or you. Okay, so, what do you have for me? Hello! You have something! A potted plant! Excellent! I will buy it! Twenty? I will have it delivered to the inn for you, Effendi. Thank you! Excellent! That's another item purchased. What do you have for me, if anything? Probably nothing. Hello. You have just a basket. That is not something I want. And you have just a brass lamp. All right, so we got a new thing. And that's awesome. So day eight. We're on day eight or day seven? We're on day seven, aren't we? What day are we on? We're on day seven. So in theory, we should be able to get a new item every day. Now let's pop back here. 
Oh! Oh dear. You see a small leather purse on the plaza floor. Could this be Omar's? You pick up the purse and open it. It has six dinars and twenty-five centines. It also has a small scrap of paper with the words Quelling Chaos from Shapir, Driving Darkness from Brazil. That is absolutely Omar's purse. Let's hold on to that, shall we? I get the feeling we're going to meet Omar again in the future. You know what else we should do? Go check in on the Adventurers Guild. Huh. There's no one here. Well, maybe there's someone in here? Oh, there is. You have saved the city with your courage and your resourcefulness. The land of Shapir is indebted to you. By order of the Sultan, Harun al-Rashid, I have been asked to give you this reward for your actions. Rakish gives you the 50 dinar reward. Ooh! We are all truly fortunate that you came to this land. Thank you! Thank you, that's really kind. Shapir has many tales to tell of what you wish to discuss. Let us talk about the fire elemental, shall we? Surely you have not already forgotten your noble deed. Nah, I haven't forgotten. What about a water elemental? I fear that I can add no further knowledge. That's fair enough. Um, anything else I can talk about? No, it doesn't seem like... I can talk to you about magic. Magic surrounds all of us in this world, and is a part of us also. Aziza has many more answers than I. That makes sense. Oh, I shall say goodbye. Farewell, young adventurer. We shall speak again soon, no doubt. So, 50 dinars right there! That puts you back to 306? Fantastic. Fantastic. So, we'll leave for now. Is there much else for us to do today, though? Hmm, that is a point. I don't think you have my shoes ready for me, but I'll check just in case. Hello. I'm still working on your boots, hero. Fair enough. Fair enough. We could go to the plaza of the palace. The fear of fire is great to a seller of rugs. A thousand thanks for saving our city, brave one. Shamin and Shima have spoken truly of your courage. May fortune favor you, hero of Shapir. Thank you very much for your kind words. Now, if I were to ask you about rugs... I sell the finest rugs handwoven by my family. They're, they're way too high. Yeah, if we, if we do this... Forgive me, but Shiba would be most as pleased if I sold you something which you could not easily carry, and for which you have no real use. That is fair enough. That is fair enough. So, can't do anything there. We have that purse, which I'm going to save before I look at it. The same before I look at that purse. I don't want to accidentally open it. The purse uses a drawstring for closure. The weight of this purse is 49 quarks. Yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna leave and... What else do we need to do today? We could do a little bit of fighting in the desert, I suppose? We could also see if there's anything happening here. Good day, hero. Hero? Are you calling me a hero now? I regret it very much, but I cannot help you with that. That is fair enough, but that is incredibly kind of you to say, sir. That is very kind. You know, I'm gonna pop out for a little bit, and I'm gonna see if I can find a couple of brigands, and make sure the brigands aren't causing any trouble, you know. Just, I won't be long. Just gonna pop out, say hi. It's very likely that tomorrow bad things are going to start happening. Very, very bad things. Alright, let's go out. Over to here. If it's just a brigand, we could take on a brigand. We could get a bit of coin from having at thee. No? 
No one? Oh, they're all terrified of us now. Not only are we a master of the blade, we're a master of the word as well. We could talk them into defeat. Anyone? Is, is there anybody that... No? No one? Hmm. Absolutely no one. Fair enough. Ah! Aha! Hello! Verily I will have at thee with you, knave. You're speaking in very flowery tongue. Oh no, your sword is still just a sharp, though. That it is! That it is! Have? Oh, oh. Have? Oh! Ha! I can just stab you! And then this! Get a critical hit! And then... Swing! Wait! Get you on the return! And... Little poke! Wait! And slay you! Ha <laughs> ha! Marvelous! Eventually we'll pay for that collector's edition of Quest for Glory too. I mean, it's not a collector's edition, but it will be when we're done with it! Not only will it be personally signed by the vendors in Shapir, but it's also one that we owned! We'll be so famous that we can sign it! Double its value! Hello, my Saurus friend. How are you doing? We probably won't be uh, using you as much in the near future because we don't need to be out here. We're just out here now to earn a little bit of extra money. You know, buy a few extra things. Oh, um, okay. Maybe we'll get better at fighting. I should have just run away. I should have run away. Should have run away, but I didn't. Aha! Getting a little better at taking care of you. Get a two strike. Add a two strike. Gotta be careful. Oh! Aha! I'm getting better at that. And when you get back up, I'm ready. Nope, oh, you got me that. Not that time, though. Oh, it's such a powerful move. It deals so much damage. So much damage. Oh, I've got the timing. I've got the timing. Yes! It's so good! And you keep trying to kick me! I have learned, Pterosaurus! I have learned how to deal with you! Just Upward slash! Maybe it's because you're pinned to the edge of the uh, battle zone. All you could really do is that. And it's to your detriment! Oh! Oh, oh, oh no! And then you headbutted me. Oh, I was doing so well! I was doing so well! Okay, I've got to be very careful. Oh, there we are. And soon this will be over. Oh, no, no. Ooh. No. I'm not going to let you get me. I'm not going to let you get me. Not today, Saurus. Oh, that was a brilliant fight. That was fantastic. Didn't want to fight you, but that was just brilliant. You know, I think that's enough today. We, we, we made sure that our skills don't dull, even though there's no way for our skills to dull. It's time to head back to the city. Let's return. Go get ourselves a meal and go straight into day eight. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen. Day eight is when terrible stuff is going to happen. Oh, it absolutely is. Probably elemental number two. We don't know which one it'll be. Good day, hero. Thank you very much. 
I'm just gonna pop in now. I've done all I need to today. No problem, hero. Same team for the poor Effendi. Let's pop into here. And get some food. Welcome, hero. Thank you. Just gonna quickly save. Go check on my, uh... Oh, wait, I've got to go see my potted plant. There it is. A healthy-looking plant adorns one corner of your room. Excellent. This place is becoming more and more awesome every time we buy something. Now, let us sleep until evening. And go get ourselves an evening meal, and then go straight into day eight. No reason to linger. You wake up much refreshed as the sun sets behind the mountains. Right. We've done all we need to. Let us, uh... Go here. Welcome, hero. Thank you. Let us eat. What's on the menu today? This is what she's like. I've got burger and chips for you, hero. I'm like, what? Got it from Monolith Burger. Tonight's meal is honeyed lamb with almonds and curry chicken. It is hoped that you will enjoy yourself. I will. Thank you. You have a wonderful meal. Fortunately, your strenuous regimen as a hero prevents you from looking as round as Abdullah. And you know what? We're just going to go immediately back to sleep and start day eight. And when we come back, folks, day eight, where nothing bad will happen at all. Nope. Not at all. Bad stuff might happen. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.